to be my last reading of the night. <laughs> All right, so who are we going to do, Spirit? Who are we doing? Okay, we're going to do... We are going to do... We are going to do Scorpio, I guess. All right, let's do Scorpio. Okay, so if you're new to my channel... When you find this reading, it's for you. All of my readings are timeless. Uh, so thank you for being here. And if you are a past subscriber, welcome by it all. Bye -bye. <laughs> all right. We're going to start out with tarot. Scorpio. We're going for Scorpio. Scorpio. Oh, damn. Your car is already flying out and stuff. <clears throat> all right, what do we got for our Scorpios? Our Scorpio placements. You guys, so I was reading for Libra and as soon as I shut off my camera, a bug literally flew up my fucking nose. Flew up my nose. A bug flew up my nose. <laughs> and I almost cried. Because <laughs> I love bugs. But I don't like them up my nose. Yeah. So that happened. Then I blew my nose really hard and blood came out and I was freaking out and I was like, I'm going to die. There's a bug up my nose. <laughs> yeah. So. Okay. Ace of Swords. What the hell does that mean? Oh, Lord. Oh, my God. Everybody has all these options coming in in the spring. Where the hell my options at? <laughs> Everybody's got all of these options. And I was sitting here like, where are my options at? <laughs> oh my god. Aw, but you guys are you guys are experiencing some heartbreak. You got all of these wonderful options coming in, but you don't want any of them. <laughs> what the frick? You can send them over to me, Scorpio. I will take all of your options. Just kidding. Okay. So, seriously. Oh, God. Sorry. This is the nostril the bug went in. And so I'm bugged. <laughs> Sorry. I just realized what I said. I wasn't even... It was so stupid. I swear to God. I wasn't even intending to do that pun. I swear I wasn't. And it, <laughs> and it was literally a pun. Oh, my God. I was like... This is the nostril that went up. The bug went up and I'm bugged. Oh my god, that's so dumb. Oh, that's funny. Okay, so we have Ace of Swords. I'm getting distracted. Which, there's an energy of like something really big that you discovered. And I don't know what it is, but it feels huge. In regards to your love life. Um, maybe you discovered you have a crush on someone. Maybe you discovered someone has a crush on you. I don't know, but it feels really big. Okay, and for you single Scorpios, I see you guys have, like, a lot of, a lot of, a lot of options. But whatever it is you discovered, like, you know, in regards to your love life. I don't know what it was, but so, okay. We had the options card, right? Seven of Cups is like a lot of people wanting to be in your energy space. A lot of people wanting to be with you. And then we got Three of Swords, which is this energy of like, I don't want anything to do with anyone. You know, you're sort of going through this like heartbreak. And... I don't know why. I feel like Scorpio has been for this past year and most of last year going through a massive healing phase. Like there's this energy of like closed heart, heart excuse me, heartbreak. But yeah, like you know, it's very confusing because all right, let me just ask some questions. Can you tell me why we have the ace of swords here, please? Can you tell me why we have the Ace of Swords here, please, Spirit? Thank you for allowing me to be the clearest channel for source messages. Why do we have the Ace of Swords here, please?
All right, can you tell me more about the Three of Swords, please? Tell me more about the Three of Swords, please. Can you tell me about the Nine of Cups, please? Whoops. Tell me about the Nine of Cups, please. Okay, so... It looks like... You had this idea of a new relationship that you wanted to move forward with and you pretty much thought that it was heading in a direction of commitment and I don't think this person had the same idea as you. So when I asked about the Ace of Swords, they gave me the Ace of Pentacles. So this is the card of a new relationship, okay? So I think you had this idea that you were going to be moving forward with someone. And even though you had all these options, love interest coming in, there's one person that caught your eye and you thought, this is the person I'm going to start this relationship with. And... You know, it's possible that you did and you had this idea of like this happily ever after. You guys are going to get married, blah, 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 move in together, whatever. And it didn't quite go that way. And so there was some heartbreak. Because when I asked about the Three of Swords, they gave me this. The Four of Wands, which is the card of commitment, marriage, um, stability, starting a, you know, a life with someone. So, you know, it, it didn't go the way that you thought it was going to go. And this could have been with a possible fire sign. When I asked about the Nine of Cups, which is wish fulfillment, you know, getting everything you want, this is the card that came out, Queen of Wands. So it could have been with a possible fire sign. Um, I mean, it could be an earth sign too. But either way, um, this person was very passionate in the beginning and then maybe <clears throat> things just sort of went south. And it feels like maybe this person almost was like, too passionate and so I feel like you guys were clashing you know sometimes fire and water placements don't always mix you know because I mean water puts fire out and you know right vice versa or whatever so okay um can we get two more cards for Scorpio for those that are in this um heartbreak energy please spirit what do you want them to know king of cups okay one more please stay open Scorpio okay so here's what a spirit is saying to you they want you to remain open they want you to keep your heart cracked open um, even though at this moment, you might not want to. They want you to stay open because um, there's nothing good can come of keeping your heart chakra closed. Everything comes to us via the heart chakra. Love, money, abundance, all of that comes towards us with our magnetized heart. So, um, and I'm not saying that whatever you're going through is not painful. Um, a lot of lessons, especially in love, are extremely painful, but please do not give up, okay? Please um, keep your heart wide open, and Spirit is also telling me to work on balancing yourself, balancing your own energy, um, and then you're going to be unstoppable, Scorpio, okay? So there was the King of Cups and, you know, the whole juggling, balancing act. 
Oh my God. I flipped over the deck because I felt guided to look at the bottom of the deck for you. And look what's on the bottom of the deck. So look, it's counterparts, Scorpio. Keep your heart open because there is your counterparts. We got King of Cups, Queen of Cups. <laughs> you see that? See? Don't give up. Don't you dare give up. It's right. It might not be right now, but it's coming soon. Okay, so let's do a little portion for our single Scorpios. See if there's any options coming in for our singles. What do you got for our single Scorpios, please? What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Okay, after this, we're going to do your shadow deck. <clears throat> What do we got for our single Scorpios, please? And then we'll do your spirit message. There's a moth or something. The who deck and then your spirit, other spirit message to conclude. What do we got for singles? <clears throat> Four cards for singles, please. Whoa, happily ever after. I do, huh? We got the sun card. God, you guys got some commitment coming in. Or you're thinking about it. <laughs> Last card, please, for our singles. <clears throat> Ooh, how did that come out right after? <laughs> That's funny. I'm like, y'all got some commitment coming in, and then bam, there's that devil card. All right, tell me about the devil card for our singles, please. <clears throat> what in the fuck was that? Tell me about the devil card for our singles, please. Oh, they're obsessed with you. One more card, please. We gotta dive deeper into this. <laughs> One more card, please. Holy shit. Oh my god, okay, I'm gonna pull one more. <laughs> because... This just got, I, oh my God. Okay, one more, please. Outcome, please. Outcome, please. Oh my God. Okay, 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 okay. So, <laughs> whoo, Scorpio. Okay, so the first card that we got was the sun card, okay? You have one, two, three, four, five major arcana just in the spread. For you singles, you're definitely not going to be single for long. <clears throat> single Scorpios. Okay, so we have the three of pentacles, which shows me that right now you're sort of looking at the future of your love life. You're like, I know what I want and I want to be in a committed relationship. Okay, <clears throat> and if that's what you want... It's, you're manifesting it, okay? <clears throat> Let me tell you right now. Because we have the Hierophant, which is commitment. We have the Devil, which is um, lots of passionate sex. It's someone who's obsessed with you. <clears throat> and just I just wanted to clarify and make sure that it was not something, you know, dark and twisted. Like, you know, a stalker or, you know, um, the Devil can show up with, you know, temptation um, it can show up with a stalker, like I said. It can show up with, like, um, someone who's violent or something. So I wanted to make sure that the energy surrounding the devil card was good. And so we immediately got the Wheel of Fortune. So this is a card of, like, um, fate and destiny. And sort of because you've, you know, learned your lessons and and stuff in regards to love, you've drawn in this sort of magnetizing energy to you and so that's why you got this devil card which is someone being extremely obsessed with you <laughs> i mean the devil card represents obsession right and with the wheel of fortune i don't see it being a bad obsession okay at all and then just to clarify we got the chariot which is again the card of like being very um it's this energy of like trying really hard to control yourself because, you know, you get very like fired up around this person. 
like this would be like a very strong sexual tension type energy <laughs> like holding back um, but it being very hard to hold back <laughs> so because the chair represents very strong desires um, also very sexual strong desires just like the devil card and we also have the star so you know I definitely do not see this devil being negative there's no negative connotations with all the other cards surrounding that's why I pulled so many because I wanted to make sure the star is the card of um, you know wish fulfillment um, having all your hopes fulfilled all your wishes fulfilled also it's a card like if you had any questions of whether or not you're on the right path in regards to your love life or this person then the answer is yes it's like you're on the right path this is the right person yes 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 that in conjunction with the Sun I mean literally you got one two three four five I'm sorry six major arcana <laughs> so this next person that's coming in for you Scorpio singles it's going to be a zinga bitch <laughs> just so you know oh we Scorpio I'm excited for you I'm a Scorpio rising let that be for me I'm claiming this shit too <laughs> all right bring it on in spirit we ready shit we wasn't ready before but we ready now bring it all right let's do spirit messages for you what the hell's going on with this deck all right let's get two cards for Scorpio spirit message please What we got here? What do we got? Can we get two cards for Scorpio, please? We have brown eyes. One more, please. Thank you for allowing me to be the clearest channel for source messages. Brown eyes and awakened. So, your person possibly has brown eyes, look out for that. And then also we have awakened, which means your person is spiritual, they are not asleep. So awakened is the term we use for someone who is, you know, awakened, they're conscious, they are the I am presence, they are aware that they are a conscious being in a body, they are aware that they are a soul in a body, <laughs> you know. They're awakened, they're aware of the matrix, you know, they're not asleep. So, okay. And you know, that's that's just, that's one, two, threes and ABCs. Look up awakened and asleep, if you don't know what it means, okay? Because I'm not gonna explain it that well in detail. Okay, so we're gonna do um, your shadow deck and see if you have any shadows. There is a hair somewhere that's bothering me on this shirt. It's anyway, that happens. It's really annoying. I'm trying to figure out where it is and I can't find it. Alright, so can we get... Can we get um, two cards for Scorpio for shadows, please? If they have any shadows. <clears throat> Fifty-nine problem. It's number fourteen. So it's fifty-nine. Add it up. It's fourteen. Four and one make five. So there's two fives here. Oh, okay. We'll get one more. Mm. Okay, so you only have one shadow card that came out. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> so this is the shadow of rules. <clears throat> and it's basically the shadow of putting up rules and saying, this is how love should be. When I fall in love, it should be like this. This is how things should go. We should meet like this and it should happen like this. And when it, you know, and when we fight, it's going to be like this. When we make up, it's going to be like this. <laughs> And you have these rules, and some of them might be to try to keep you safe, like, oh, I don't um, do this on the first date, or I don't, um, 
I don't open up about this until this we're this far into the relationship or you know I don't make the first move or whatever it is you know <clears throat> rules are just things that we invent and make up to try to keep us safe when in all actuality they generally will bring about the thing that we're afraid of so all rules do is put restrictions on your natural um, your natural zest for life, your natural instincts to sort of live your life freely, right? Your natural um, spontaneous self, right? So how can you be spontaneous and let things happen and unfold naturally if you're constantly creating rules of why you shouldn't do certain things at certain times, right? Does that make sense? So the way to get rid of that shadow is to just break your own rules, Scorpio. <laughs> And you know what? You guys are rebels anyways. So go ahead and just break the rules. Like if you don't kiss on the first date, hell, kiss on the first date. Go for it. Jump all in. Like two feet in. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> That's the only way you're going to break free of these um, these rules which are confining your life and putting you in a small box. Okay? And don't nobody put baby in a box. Come on. All right. So <clears throat> the next two cards... See, look, and that they're look at this list of rules. They're like crazy long. <clears throat> okay, the next two cards that we got are not shadows. We have luck, enjoyment. It's number thirty, so it's number three. Um, you're going to be having some experiences if you let go of these rules, where you just enjoy yourself and go with the flow. I mean, look at the card. It's a couple, they're in a boat, they're literally going with the flow. <laughs> they're 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 rolling down the river. <laughs> so, you know, they're going with the flow. All right. I wanna see if I can find this hair somewhere. It's bothering me. Okay, so the next card we got is number 19. It's a luck card and it is responsiveness. So nine and one is ten. It's nineteen. There's the hair. See, I knew it. It's on the card now see okay so responsiveness see and this is exactly what spirit was saying see let go of the rules responding to life instead of reacting to it it's just going with the flow being responsive and open to everything that comes your way instead of going into this with like heart closed it's going into it with an opened heart and and saying yes to pretty much everything that comes your way. It's responding in a positive way. So that you can experience what spirit wants you to experience. Which is love. <clears throat> okay. I told you they were telling you not to give up. Alright. Let's do the who oracle to get some traits. Character traits about your person. And then we're going to do the spirit message. And we're going to call this a reading. Yours was really short. I don't know why but it is. <laughs> All right, so let's keep going. Can we get four character traits for Scorpio for their person, please? Four cards for Scorpio, please. All right, I got to sip some water, too. I just killed it. Look. <clears throat> Alright, let's get it in, pretty. Four cards, please. <laughs> Mysterious. This card comes out for you every single time, Scorpio. Your person is probably a Scorpio, too. Seriously. Or a Scorpio rising. Screen time. Y'all are going to be... Oh, screen time. I don't know. I guess take that as it resonates. So your person is a movie star? <laughs> Just kidding. Tan complexion. Okay, hold on. One more. Screen time. So, faithful. Oh, that's beautiful. I'm going to cry. So, we have mysterious... So this is big Scorpio energy. I don't know. Your person's probably a Scorpio. That's probably why none of y'all are getting nowhere because you're both Scorpios. You're both like, 
I don't make the first move and I would never. I, and so both y'all are just like locked. <laughs> Nobody's making a move. Both y'all in love as hell, but both y'all are like, nope. <laughs> locked in like a game of chess where nobody's winning. <laughs> oh my God. So we have screen time. Now this could mean like your person is in the public eye. I don't know. Maybe they're, um, maybe they're on TV. Maybe they're a YouTuber. I don't know. Maybe they um, are a movie star. Um, maybe they're an Instagrammer and they're always making videos on Instagram. I mean, I don't know how that's going <laughs> to. Or maybe you meet them at a movie theater. I, I don't know. It just it says screen time. So And there's popcorn in the background, backgrounds. I don't know. Maybe you guys FaceTime a lot or something. I don't know. Okay. And then we have tan complexion. So they have that nice olive skin tone. And then we have faithful. So they are faithful. Oh, and that is such a beautiful trait to have. <clears throat> oh my God. I just got shivers. Okay. <laughs> beautiful, beautiful trait to have. And if you ask me, I refuse to be with someone who is unfaithful. Like monogamy is so extremely important to me. So, because I'm monogamous, so I expect my partner to be absolutely monogamous too. It's like, if you're not, then why are you here? <laughs> why are you in my life? <laughs> if I value it, then damn sure my partner better value it. So, all right, <clears throat> here we go. Last spirit message for Scorpio, please. <clears throat> I hope you guys can hear me in my ears on. What is the last final message for our beautiful Scorpios, please? Traitor. Um, exchange energy to create abundance. Okay, so this is about doing some type of energy exchange to create abundance for yourself, my beautiful Scorpios. Let's find it and read it because I've never, I think I've ever gotten this card before, 80. So we're going to read it so we both know what it means, okay, my loves? Okay, make connections and exchange information talents or supports the trader brings the lesson and energy of exchange when he appears he could represent an opportunity to exchange talents whatever they may be in order to expand or be about the exchange of energies that come from the universe or both for example if you are a creative person or consider yourself creative when you share your talents, you are giving them, and when you do so, the universe will give you more in order for you to share more. It's all a beautiful cycle. <clears throat> I'm losing my voice. I've done a lot of readings tonight. The trader also reminds you to be open and honest and act with integrity in your exchanges because doing something to get something will only lead to challenges. The universe operates under the law of cause and effect and is always looking to return to a natural state of balance. So if you are lacking in the feelings of abundance at this time, you are being invited to share your time, your gifts, and your understanding with others. <clears throat> if you're frustrated because something isn't unfolding in your life, instead of asking yourself what you can get, ask yourself what you can give. The energy of exchange doesn't necessarily mean financial energy. It can also be about supporting in order to feel supported. If you've been holding back with your offerings, now is the time to change that. Allow yourself to be open. Didn't I say that? See? Spirit saying it too. <laughs> Allow yourself to be open, honest, and vulnerable. This can prepare you to open up to even greater opportunities in the coming days weeks and months okay that's beautiful i hope you enjoyed this reading scorpios 
um, if you click the little arrow on the side then it pops up my description box and my tip jar is there so you guys can tip me my Etsy shop is there if you want to check it out um, I did add a new product it's called chakra bunny sexy soak and I created it all myself it's all organic and um, it is bath salts that are activated for tantric sexuality and romance so if you like that stuff please check it out um, if you feel so guided to check out my son's channel he's the only featured channel that's on my um, my channel what else <clears throat> Thank you guys for all your likes, your shares, your subscriptions. My Patreon's down there too. So if you guys want to join me on Patreon, I have three tiers on there. So, you know, you can support me however you want financially. And I really appreciate it, you guys, because this is my only job. So, you know, every I, I appreciate every ounce of support that you guys give me. Um, and I have a new website. So if you, you know, it's in my description box. If you want to book a reading with me, I made it so much easier for you guys to book a reading with me. All you have to do is like click on my website and you know check out my services and hit book me now and I'm yours baby. Alright, I love you Scorpio. Bye.